But first, calling all gamers, the Cincinnati Rec Center is recruiting teens to participate in a new eSports program, and it all starts this weekend. Joe Berta from CRC is here to tell us about Cincinnati eSports happening on Saturdays. This is a really cool concept. Yeah, it is. It is. We're excited to get it going. Yeah. Uh, we've got about three facilities participating, uh, Hershen, Avondale, uh, College Hill, go from 11 to 1 this Saturday, and then down at Lincoln on Lynn Street, we go from one to three. So okay. we're looking forward to it. Yeah, so for those who maybe aren't familiar with the eSports and the program and how this is all gonna work, explain it to us. It's gaming. So right. uh, <laughs> we're, we're getting those gamers off their couch from home and hopefully into our facilities, uh, not only competing against each other in person, but down the line looking to compete against other centers and maybe form teams to compete online against them. That's so. awesome. A little bit of social interaction there, uh, some STEM learning as well that goes along with this. What are some of the games that they're going to be playing during the six week, six week season? So the first six weeks we are doing some Rocket League on Xbox and then we'll do some uh, everybody's favorite Smash Brothers on the Switch. Ooh. That's yeah, a good yeah. one. I know a lot of, uh, if there's kids at home today, maybe they're still on break or sick. They're going, wait, I, mom, wait, turn this up. I want to listen. <laughs> um, for those who maybe don't have that much experience, they may be a little nervous going into a program like this. What would you say to them? Uh, show up and try it out. I know that we plan to um, kind of separate people based on skill level. So if you're new, you'll be able to compete against other people that are new and, and learn and get used to the game. And then as you get better and you want to take on maybe a, a Cincy Fear specialist or uh, a local team that's a pro, you know, you can have the opportunity to do that. So it's no skill necessary. Yeah, I mean, this has been a, a thing that's really developed over the years. I mean, people are making careers out of this and a lot of people are now interested in learning more about esports and really the skills that go along with that. What are some of the things that you're hoping people will take away from this program? Sure, I think. Besides the gaming, what we were looking for is, uh, and, and Liz Keating, councilwoman who's, who's on her way out, has been a big proponent for getting the city behind us and, and helping with rec. And we work with Game Day and um, Channel 3 Gaming, and they're trying to get people in to show the careers and, and STEM or production of what goes into gaming. So if you have interest in, in playing the games, you can you know, go into a field or find a curriculum that kind of supports that niche so you can play games but also maybe get paid for it. So I mean, that's a dream for a right. lot of kids oh, out yeah. there. They're like, wait, that's that's a possibility. If teens want to get involved uh, in this program, is there an age limit? Uh, we're, we're geared towards like the 12, 17, 18 range. I don't think we would push anybody a little bit younger, a tween away okay. in that 10, 11, but it's about 10 to 17. So. We're trying to hit that niche of gamers at this right. time. Is it too late to sign up for this six week season? Nope, it is not. We have a lot who are registered, but we would be happy to register them at the door on Saturday. Okay, what's the easiest way? Just show up? Show up. Uh, we would get you a, a, a CRC membership that's good at all 23 facilities. Once you've got that, it's pretty simple on our end. We can get you in and out and get you down and gaming. Okay, awesome. And I saw that we had a website or a flyer up. What's the best way if people maybe just caught the tail end of this and they want to learn more information? Is there a website that they can go to? They can go to cincyrec.org or they could call our info line at 352-4000 okay. and they'd be able to give you a direct site information or registration information online. Awesome. This sounds like a lot of fun. Thank you so much for coming in and cool. chatting Appreciate with it. us. Yeah, yes. so make sure you get signed up. Maybe head out there on Saturday. We'll have this full segment on our website as well, fox19.com. We hope you have a good weekend. You too. A Thank good you. weekend, obviously, to be indoors gaming, Ethan.